Maxwell's playing. Love him. You don't know me. I don't know you. And I ask you out on a date. Would you say yes? Everyone has been waiting for a season three. So set the stage for us. Where do we pick up? How much time has passed? And where where is Denise in her life right now? Wow. Well, uh, I feel like it's a very grown up season. You know, uh, Denise has grown up a little bit. She's married. She's living in upstate New York. She's put a book out that's done pretty well. And now it's, it's the hard part begins. Now it's about balancing everything. It's about... Uh, doing what her partner also is, is hoping for and wanting, which is to start a family. And also with Denise and Dev, you know, don't get to talk as much or don't get to see each other as often as they normally do because now she lives a little bit further away, which I think all of these things feel very relatable to people who are, I think, in their mid to late 30s. It was just like, I, th I think going in, I didn't anticipate how much of a collaborative environment I would be involved in coming in and being able to like create with some of the best creators felt like a, a, like a dream come true. Obviously you and Naomi are the backbone of the season, Aziz and even Alan sort of take a back seat this yeah. season. So how did those conversations come about to have the focus sort of shift to your character? The funny thing was there weren't any big conversations about it. It just really, Aziz really wanted to deal with relationships and he had been watching a bunch of foreign films about how they dealt with showing love and how it was not always sweet and nice and easy. And so we really wanted to, we really wanted to take that approach with this season. But yeah, Aziz really wanted to step into the director's chair this season, which I think he does beautifully. I really think he got some wonderful performances out of us. Uh, I think he, I think it's shot beautifully. I think the color palette is stunning. And he really, he's always had a vision for the show. And this season is no different. I think it's even more master of none than ever. Some days if we felt like, oh, this, this scene is sticking slightly, Aziz would just be like, okay, what would you just say in this moment? Like, what would you just say? And we would just kind of go, oh, well, I would say this. And he was like, okay, cool. Let's just put that there and then we'll go ahead. And, and that allowed for, you know, amazing moments of Lena's like comedic prowess to come out when she's like making references or, you know, all of that kind of cool stuff. It had to be from the heart and just off the cuff. So some really magical things happened that I was like, oh my gosh, Nay, you got a temper on your babe. Like I was like coming out with some stuff that I was like, Whoa, gosh, I don't even say that in my real life. The show also highlights some of the flaws in the healthcare system when it comes to fertility. Yeah. Well, it came about because Aziz had a conversation with a doctor about this IVF stuff. And that was like shocking. And he told me and he was like, can you believe that? And I don't think, I, if I remember correctly, it wasn't previously in the script that they had written because he didn't know about it. And so he was like, I feel like this is really important to put in and like anything that we can do to kind of highlight some of the indiscrepancies within like the healthcare system or politics or whatever it is, is really important. I also want to talk about the importance of representation, right? This idea of visibility with this story. Can you talk a little bit about that? And also, you know, your character says it, you say it yourself in the show, all of this brown on brown love is beautiful. <laughs> it is, you know, and um, and I think that was an ad lib because I couldn't, I couldn't help it, but it was like, you know, sitting there with, with, uh, with Dev and his love interest as well. For me, visibility is just the beginning. You know, it's important to not just have us be in the scene, but it's important for us to be complex. It's important for us to be uh, imperfect. I've been able to be in spaces that feel so much more inclusive and and coming on to a show where it's like we're actually like on purpose like you're not a token you're not you're in there with another black woman and I love black women and I just like I was just like yes like let's just it, it feels refreshing and it feels like being part of a, a new version of the industry that's like gonna allow way more people to feel seen. It's definitely gonna be a departure. It's gonna feel like a surprise, but I hope the, the fans sit down and lean in because it's a beautiful five episodes and I'm excited for everybody to see it. Yeah, I said yes, then I say yes now.